What is going on everybody? I made a quick pit stop here in Utah after learning about freezing fog. With everything behind me covered in a nice sheet of frost. So I thought this would be a cool place to stop on the drive home. So for my first composition, I lined up this one rock monument in between these two icy trees with the 5DSR and the 100 to 400, zoomed all the way in to kind of make those trees frame the rock off in the distance. All right, so I got my composition all set up. I'm actually using a 10 second timer because it's pretty damn cold. So I tried using two second, but was still getting just a little bit of shake and blur in the final image. So I'm gonna stick with 10 seconds and really get rid of that. All right, so the next composition that I lined up was this row of three trees across the street here. Using the same 100 to 400 to zoom in and isolate those against the cliffs covered in snow behind me. All right, so I really like the way that these three trees line up against the cliff behind it, shrouded in fog. So I'm gonna do the same 10 second timer, focus to infinity, make sure there's no vibration in the final image. All right, so my last composition on this quick trip, I don't know if you can see right here, is a tiny little tree covered in frost with the cliffs behind it and the streaks of red rock contrasting against the white of the tree. I think it looks awesome. Really use that 100 to 400 to zoom right in and isolate that against the cliffs. All right, so shortly after shooting down 
in all of the ice fog, I popped up right on this road right above the fog. And wow, look at that view. I am a little disappointed. It probably should have got here about 10 or 15 minutes earlier and I bet the clouds would have really been on full display, but I still got a pretty awesome blue hour panorama and I think this might be one of the best shots of the year. Let me know in the comments below what you think. As always, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.